Right now we're down at the Vancouver Trading Convention Centre at Grocery Showcase West. This is the supermarket for supermarket operators. They're looking for products that might give their store a bit of a differentiation from everybody else. So people are looking to buy things and, and get, them, get them on the shelf for their consumers. It's also a great place for all these small and local food processors and manufacturers to see all of us retailers where they wouldn't normally have the manpower to get out and market their new products. The trade show has many familiar brands, but new for 2012 is BC Producers Row. Retailers are definitely looking for something local and something unique. We have exotic and um, wild mushrooms and we do blends that other companies have not thought of doing. It's a huge cost in the sales of what we do, um, but, it, but we figure if we start driving around and trying to visit every store in the lower mainland of Vancouver, that's a huge cost too and a lot of time spent. Steve Lockhart is a grocery store manager. Did you find everything you were looking for? Local has become important in stores. Consumers are looking for local. In terms of produce department, in July and August, we have up to 350 local products. Local grocery items, however, are more rare on their shelves. Scale of economy and uh, supply and demand, I would say 10, 15, 20 percent of our grocery products are local, i.e. BC or Canadian. Distributors and brokers play a big role in determining which grocery items are available in stores. A smaller distributor, they could work with, you know, three or four farms or uh, manufacturers or our own distribution company, we have over 2,000 grocery lines. The broker works on the advertising and uh, demos and, and launching the product. Hey Richard, it's Steve Cullen from the White Rock store. How you doing? We have some really slow selling conventional oils. Certainly price and item are also an issue that retailers, you know, have to work with. Shelf space is of the premium. Essentially, it's like real estate. Just talking to other people here, saying that once we come in, they're having to kick another person off of their shelf space. I think the market for anybody is, is extremely competitive, and it doesn't really matter on the category. Um, so, you know, it's, it's very important for a food producer to differentiate themselves. A lot of the times, farmers aren't the best advertisers and don't know the means and the relationships that they have with retailers to get their product out to market. The trade show included a shopper marketing workshop. The way people actually shop is they're almost on autopilot. They're used to going down certain aisles that they frequently shop. They're used to going to certain products that they usually shop. You've got to really do something to jar their behavior. But there are ways that you can really efficiently talk about your product. And I would say if you start from the very fundamentals, can they clearly really know what the main message is? Metro Vancouver area businesses tend to follow that advice. We're rolling out new packaging featuring a lot of the local aspects of outdoor lifestyle that, that we believe are really important. We used to have our label on the top, which is great exposure, but it hides the product. So we're coming out, probably in two weeks we'll get it with a corner label. We're finding that more and more people are wanting to know where their food comes from. So when we meet with them both at the stores or here at the shows or at the farmer's markets, we just have to tell our story. As these local marketplace newcomers share their stories and knowledge, the benefits accrue throughout the regional food system. Value chains are created that benefit everyone in the region.